hello welcome back we are working with controller and in this video we are going to learn a new feature and that feature is it's a very obvious question that you run say for example this is your uh, architecture that uh, this is a typical architecture that you have so you have a system under test okay so let's say this is system under test where we have installed some software and we are testing this server okay and also we have somewhere the the load generation and load generation consists of multiple things like there would be a controller and then there might have multiple load generators and those load generators may be in your in your premise or it might happen on on it, it might happen to sit on some amazon aws cloud okay so this is how a load test happen so one of the important criteria that we need to keep into keep in mind that whenever the test is running I need to connect I need to collect different resource uses of the system under test like how much CPU is being used when the load is uh, you know for when we are doing the load testing okay and how much system memory being consumed on the on the machine so these are kind of typical questions that uh, that people will ask whenever you are doing a load testing okay so Anyway, like so, so this is the thing, right? So basically, to know how much CPU or how much memory being used on system under test, there are multiple commands. Like you now, if you are using a Linux system, then there is a command called vm start. So if you run the vm start, the vm start is going to give you the system CPU consumption, user CPU consumption, and idle CPU consumption. And similarly, if you are on Windows system, and there is a tool called perfman. Okay, so using Perfman, we can find out what kind of what kind of resource utilization happening on that system under test. So what you can do, Load Runner gives you an an easier way to collect those statistics, right? To collect to connect to these machines to the system under test and get the statistics through the native command line interface. Okay, so at the end of the day, it, it is it is the loader controller is going to collect data from the system commands like vm start or sa sar or so on. Okay, and it's going to going to keep all those things in a particular result directory because in controller we are already storing the the average response time, the transactions per second, number of v users, and so on. And also, in addition to that, we can store all these system parameters okay so that is the idea and how do you do that you go to load runner controller right and then click on the system resource graph and if you're windows system then you click on windows resources and it's going to come here and then right click and then add a new measurement so here i'm going to add my local host as the new measurement local host and then this is a windows 2008 okay let's say okay and then when i do okay i'm going to give uh, like load runner can potentially see all these statistics sometimes it is not important to keep all those things but what i generally keep track is the processor time say add then i will keep track of uh, when the processor time since i have a eight processor machine on my laptop so therefore it's saying that you want to capture all the to total or you want to keep you know you know it's a processor time for each of this thing and i'll just gather all okay so okay and then i also can ca i also can count something called the pages per second okay there is a page uh, just a minute to know what kind of disk activity is going on to know what kind of disk act activity is going on we can we can also choose average disk bytes and basically you know you can you can you can choose multiple different statistics depending on what you are care about all right and similarly once you do it you just do it okay and notice that all these things being collected okay so a lot of things are being collected so this is how you can use the online monitor to monitor system under test so the best practices here is to is to 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 to, to look for cpu memory and network 
and also it's important to all to, to know what are the CPU and memory consumption of each of these load generators because in any case we do not want to have more than 80 percentage of CPU utilization happening on a load generator and if that is the case is happening then that means your load generator is bottlenecked then the test may not be valid okay so therefore ensure that you keep track of all these uh, metrics so that you can later correlate and we'll see in the result uh, session we'll see how to uh, in, in analysis we will see how to, how how we can correlate all this thing okay so however like you know in some cases what i do generally i i run the controller and sometimes the controller is a little flaky flaky or also like you know it may not have the right kind of access to the, all these machines so what i do i just run you know in the controller i start the test and i i run a cell script or a bat script on this machine okay on the system on the test to capture all those different kinds of metrics, different kind of operating system metrics which I am interested in. Thank you.